president of the Bahamas Communications and Public Officers Union, Bernard Evans, is expressing fierce opposition to Cable Bahamas being awarded the second mobile license as government moves to liberalize the telecommunications sector. Cleopatra Murphy tells us why he is so firmly against it and how far the union head is willing to go to prevent it from happening. President of the Bahamas Communications and Public Officers Union, Bernard Evans, says, quote, Cable Bahamas does not deserve to be entertained for the second mobile license, end quote, blasting the company as selfish and arrogant. Evans, who claims the company is not a good corporate partner, says Cable Bahamas has yet to deliver on the promises it made when it entered the cable market. Cable Bahamas have had the monopoly for 20 years to provide cable services throughout this country where you have 20 or more homes. They have not been good. They have not delivered. I don't see how they were even invited to bid on an almost $300 million entity as mobile. Evans said at a press conference Tuesday that Cable Bahamas' exclusive rights agreement to provide cable services in Grand Bahama until 2054 should be revoked. We're in this day and order that if you're trying to encourage competition, that in 2008 you're going to allow them to lock down that any child born in Grand Bahama that they want to get in that business will have to wait until they're over 40 years of age. Evans expressed his views after the Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority announced last month that Cable Bahamas won the auction process against Virgin Mobile Bahamas. The company must now meet preconditions to be awarded a license that could be issued before the end of the year. Evans says he will engage other unions in efforts to prevent that. We will ask the TUC and the NCTUB to stand with us and protest against the issuance of any second license for Cable Bahamas to enter into this market. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it. They are selfish, they are greedy, they are arrogant. Evans believes Virgin Mobile Bahamas would have been a better option to provide national mobile services. He says the company is anti-union, noting that the BCPOU has been trying to get an industrial agreement signed for Cable Bahamas employees for years now to no avail. They have decided that they don't want any part of unions. They don't want workers to have a say in what they generate. And they're worth, it's a sad, sad, almost an indictment to be entertaining Cable Bahamas for any other license in this country. Suggesting that Cable Bahamas has made more than $1 billion in the last 20 years and given back what he sees as an insignificant amount to the community, the union leader says he will fight to avoid the company getting a license if he has to stand alone. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News. Well, Cable Bahamas responded to Evans' comments in a release stating that the successful applicant in a phase two of the mobile process, the company is working diligently to acquire the second license. The company says it is laser focused on encouraging that the country will have what is much needed second provider in NUCO with the addition of some 150 to 200 jobs added to the sector.